Because, I mean, you were north when I got up by me. It was I'm bad. I do. It was bad. Yeah, I, I, I didn't realize it was going to be like that. So I, I didn't either. The door and the All was. right. And I just saw and that it was close to where 55 way. was, so. I didn't have any idea either. I got in the road and it looked, and the road even looked good. Uh -huh. Stuff on the gas and I went nowhere. You know, I, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> More drainage is good. Sure. I promise I'll leave you alone and I won't be grabbing you or anything. <laughs> this time I sat next to you, Steve. I know. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, everything seems weird. This seems like the wrong chair. It just seems different. I don't know what it is, but it feels like I should be sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Boy, I hope I got these things. I think I got them organized. So, Nick, you want to tell them the order in which we're adding this stuff? Yeah. I went ahead and printed this. I'll make this announcement of these updates. You can have that. Oh, I can have this. I'll give one to other folks. Ooh. It's not official until you. Okay, I'll give one to Chris. What is this? Oh, I see. This is a new. Yeah. Staff is going to propose these amendments to the agenda. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm usually really loud. Thanks, Nick. Uh, I appreciate your uh, <laughs> organization. Oh, well, thank you. You're you're welcome. Did I keep one for myself? Put it later. Yeah. Here. Do I get one? Tracy gets one too. You and I can share. <laughs> So three is going to be yeah. memorandum of agreement. Are these permits correct on here? So this would be five, not on, six, no, not on seven. my copy. Okay. Not on my version. What's that? Forget it. Sure. Here, if you want to. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Oh, right. <laughs> For um, oh, I've already done it. Okay. Yep, so yep, I filled it out. One of those to remind me to do it because I got the, mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. Oh, so take your bar off and try and Jeez, find it all right. <laughs> yeah. So when you add one, then it pushes those numbers. Yeah, but you changed all the, you know, yeah. three yeah. is down there. Yeah. 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 Memorandum and blah. It's not just changing the numbers. It's what. Sure. You'll give us a thumbs up, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We're ready to roll when she's ready. That'll be the day. <clears throat> yep, that's yours if you want it. Oh, thanks. Well, okay. Yeah. Is this mine to keep for the moment or yours here? Okay. Uh, we could well, share it going into yeah, it. Yeah, okay, that, fine. You could take this one if you like. So, here am I on. call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing is roll call. Uh, note that all managers are present. Uh, agenda changes. Administrator Tomsack. Yes. Uh, Board of Managers. Manager Bradley, uh, staff would like to propose a new action item three, which would be the Memorandum of Agreement uh, Public Drainage System Work for Roseville. Uh, all the materials are printed and posted for the interested parties. Um, then a new action item four, 
which is the Memorandum of Agreement, Public Drain Drainage System Work, Mounds View. Uh, again, the materials printed and posted. And then as you move the numbers down, we would have a new action item nine, which is Ram Ramsey County Letter of Support uh, request for state bonding. And again, those are printed and posted accordingly. Those were items that we uh, considered at the workshop and, and felt it timely to bring them forward right away. Thank you. Anyone else have any changes? Hearing none, could I have a motion to set the agenda? I'd move uh, acceptance of the agenda as amended. A second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passes. So we have the approval of the minutes from December 12th workshop. Yes, uh, Manager Bradley, if I could, uh, we would like uh, Lewis Council to the board to make a comment about that ahead of time. All right. Based on the uh, res recent uh, court action of regarding uh, manager appointment. Lewis. Good morning, managers. Uh, the uh, this applies my comments especially to the December 14th regular meeting minutes, but. Um, as I think you're all now aware, on December 12th, the Anoka County Court, District Court, issued a decision in the Circle Pines versus Anoka County case concerning manager appointments. That decision was filed in the court on December 13th. The court ruled that the while the City of Columbus had properly nominated Ms. Priner to serve on the Rice Creek Board, the Anoka County Board had failed to specifically consider the hydrologic areas of the watershed in making the appointment. And therefore the appointment was void effective immediately. Um, we learned of that decision after the December 14th meeting. And I believe communicated to you about it uh, the next day. We've reviewed the minutes and all of the decisions made by the Board of Managers on December 14th were either by five to zero uh, votes or four to zero with one abstention. So all of the decisions uh, made by the Board of Managers on December 14th, uh, Ms. Priner's vote was not uh, essential to the outcome. So all of the decisions of the board are legally proper. So we just want that comment to be in the record. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Any, any questions? Uh, Manager Bradley, uh, Lewis, if you could, just to clarify, I heard you make reference to the December 14th meeting, but uh, noting that the board did take action on December 12th, specific to the vehicle purchase. Um, and the administrator review and, and those again were, were uh, I think the votes were uh, okay for manager, previous manager Priner not to be included in the in the role, if that's how you would word it. Uh, yes, uh, managers, I think the only comment I would make then, uh, the court decision wasn't filed with the court and effective until the December 13th. But certainly, if there's any question looking back before that, um, uh, the, the, the workshop minutes and the decision there are certainly also legally valid. Thank you. Any other questions? Um, so, Lewis, your statement today will be recorded in today's minutes. Do there need to be any? additions or corrections to the minutes of the 12th and the 14th? No. Uh, no, no. No, okay. So, Mr. Vice Chair, I move approval of the minutes of the workshop on uh, December 12th. Second. Of the Ice Creek any, Board of Managers. Any seconds? Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. And I move approval of December 14th regular meeting of the Rice Creek Board of Managers. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. All right. 
So at this point, I believe we move on to the consent agenda. Patrick, do you have comments for us? Uh, no, Board of Managers uh, staff have two applications for consideration today presented without changes. Does anyone have any questions of Patrick? If not, can I have a motion to approve uh, or take other action with mm -hmm. regard to uh, these Madam two? Madam President, I, or <laughs> whoever I am. Mr. Yeah. President, uh, <clears throat> I move to cap rock permit number 22-096 and 22-110. Second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, it passes. So that takes us to open mic. Is there anyone, uh, there's no one in the audience. Is there anyone on the call, phone? Hearing none, we'll move on then to items requiring board action. Uh, Administrator, do you want to discuss item number one? Uh, Yes, uh, <laughs> Manager Bradley, we have uh, Ashley Ritchie staff here to address the issue. It's Hanson Park and Bald Eagle Lake Iron Enhanced Sand Filter Maintenance Work uh, a proposal from Davy Resource Group. Ashley, welcome. Good morning, Board of Managers. As Nick mentioned, you have before you two proposals from Davy Resource Group. This is a contractor we've used previously to do maintenance at both Oasis, or sorry, at Bald Eagle Iron and Hand Sand Filter and Hanson Park Iron and Hand Sand Filter. Um, same work plan as previously, no proposed changes. Um, they've broken it down into the Iron and Hand Sand Filter cost and native vegetation cost. Um, I guess if you have any questions, I'll take them. Are there any questions? You did a good job, Ashley. No one had a question. <laughs> Thank you. Could I have a motion then? Yes, Mr. Vice Chair, I move to approve the attached daily resource group maintenance plan for the Hanson Park and Eagle and Bald Eagle Lake Iron Enhanced Sand Filter Sites, dated January 11th, 2023, authorizing the administrator to execute the document. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? None? Aye. You opposed? No, no, no. I am I'm sorry. Okay. Just late. That's, that's good. So it, it's past 4-0. Uh, that takes us then to Johanna Creek Carp Barrier. Yes. I see Matt Koshin said our Diaz. He's online and he's in front of us. Who's right? <coughs> yes, Board of Managers. Give me one second here. I'm going to share my screen. Can't be uh, just in person or online after the vote. Managers, uh, board as Matt's preparing here, uh, I'll note he does have an updated item and, and those materials were printed and posted as well for the, for the public. Yes, thank you, Nick. A uh, couple of reasons uh, for that. Um, the memo that was handed out this morning. Uh, first off, with the holidays, we wanted to give contractors a little bit of extra time to put together quotes. And so the quotes from contractors for this project just came in last Friday. Uh, also, as we were advised or, or reminded from uh, legal counsel that uh, these uh, quotes are not public information until after we sign the contract. So best to hand them out outside of the packet. Um, so I have an update on this project. I think the last you heard about it was from Kyle Axtell. Uh, Kyle and I were co-managing this project. Uh, now you'll be hearing from me on this one. Uh, so I have a little bit of background information here uh, and then a proposed motion in the memo that was handed out. Uh, some of this is a uh, review, but uh, I'll go through it briefly just to remind the managers where we are with this project. Uh, so of course we have our Long Lake and Lino Chain of Lakes Carp Management Program. I think the board is all familiar with that. Uh, the goal of that is to remove at least 60% of the carp from this system annually. Um, so far, we've been very successful in doing that. I updated the table uh, on the right-hand side of the uh, screen there. Maybe if I slide this over, you can see that a bit better, perhaps. Well, maybe not. But uh, I can tell you that uh, 2022 was another good year for removal with the Neptune system. Here, maybe if I do it this way. There we go. <coughs> Now you can see the uh, table on the right-hand side there. 
so as we have been successful in removing carp from this system with the electric barrier on Rice Creek, that has uh, kind of exposed another part of the system that requires a little bit of maintenance, or a little bit of attention, I should say, uh, and that is this Johanna Creek, which runs uh, from Lake Johanna down through the E2 wetland and into Long Lake. Uh, we were aware of this issue when we started out doing carp management here. Previous research from the U of M showed that a very small portion, you know, less than 5% of the carp population would migrate through that uh, area annually. But as we have slowly ratcheted down the population that's moving through Rice Creek, now uh, that once very minor problem has turned into a, something that requires our attention. Uh, so this was on our radar. Uh, we did apply for and receive a Clean Water Fund grant uh, to address this. So we received a, a grant uh, for, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but just to highlight again, and I'm going to slide this back out of the way. To highlight again, uh, in the spring of 2022, uh, something um, uh, in the order of 20% of the, pop the carp population in Long Lake migrated through this channel. So again, highlighting the need for some management action there. Could I ask one question? Just, yeah, a, yeah, just a curiosity question, yeah. actually, is why are they, why, what do you attribute them going the other way? I mean, they, they're figuring it out, you what you're that? doing, or what, I mean, what's the deal? Yep, uh, Manager Wagman, that's a good question, and it's difficult not to attribute uh, sometimes um, uh, human ideas like they're, they're figuring it out or yeah. they're, uh, it, it could just be that some portion, some small percentage of the population has always migrated through that area. And now that we've reduced the size of the rest of the population, that's just a bigger mm. percentage or a bigger uh, piece of the okay. pie. But we also have seen some evidence of carp trying to migrate in both directions. So we have um, uh, antennas and pit tagged carp both in, the, in uh, Rice Creek. So if they try to migrate up, Rice Creek will know it and another antenna in this Johanna Creek, and if they migrate that way, we'll know it. And hmm. we have seen some portion of the population trying to go both directions. We have seen some carp actually try to migrate up Rice Creek, and then when they encounter the barrier, they'll go back down and around to Johanna Creek. Wow, okay. So it, I guess it could be a combination of those two things. You know, some portion of the population always went that way, and some others are just trying different routes. Thank you. Yep, uh, thank you, good question. Um, so here on the screen now is the location of where we are proposing to build this carp barrier. This is on land owned by the city of New Brighton. Uh, so this is just, out, just outside uh, New Brighton Community Center on the corner of 10th Street and Old Highway 8 uh, in New Brighton. Uh, we have uh, designs from Houston. Uh, I'll note, keep going, okay. I'll note that uh, this is the uh, third barrier of this design that we've installed. The photo there shows one that we just installed from a couple of years ago. Thank you for that. That we installed just from a couple of years ago on uh, Ramsey County JD1. That's the most recent, but we actually installed one uh, at the outlet of uh, Rondo Lake many years ago. So this would be the third of this design. We're happy with the design. It's worked well. Um, and so these new designs really were just kind of uh, made to fit this new system. Uh, so as I mentioned, we had a $50,000 grant from uh, the Watershed-Based Implementation Fund. Uh, that requires a 5% match, so our project budget here is $55,000. Uh, the budget was developed by looking at the, the JD1 project that was done a couple of years ago uh, and then adding a, a good percentage to that, knowing that the price of aluminum, uh, much of this barrier is made out of aluminum, has gone way up and construction costs have gone up. Um, so our plan right now is to uh, oversee construction of this in January and February. Uh, we do have a 25-year access agreement that's been executed with the City of New Brighton, and we have our DNR public waters permit. Uh, so we did request quotes from three contractors for this project. We received two quotes. The low quote was from Peterson Companies uh, for uh, just over $38,000. Uh, we're requesting a 20% contingency with this, uh, knowing that uh, there's a fair amount of field fitting that needs to be done. Uh, but even with that, uh, and with some remaining costs, if you were paying very close attention to the memo that came out this morning, you'll see that the screens that go into the carp barrier are not included in the construction costs. We wait until the frame is constructed and then take very precise measurements and have the screens fabricated at a later date. 
Uh, we've done that on past barriers and that seems to work well. So uh, construction quote plus the contingency plus the cost of the aluminum screen still bring, uh, brings us in under budget. Um, so with that, there's a proposed motion and happy to answer any questions. Yeah. I've got one. Go ahead. Um, uh, let me, how do I, I forgot my question. <laughs> Man, I, I had it read. five minutes ago while I'm you sorry, were talking. I but talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Man, I, I forgot what it was. It couldn't, it was just a curiosity question anyways. So. Mr. I remember. Okay. Um, how what when you're putting up those barriers wh the when I'm looking at them if you're talking about the screen size or something is that what's allowing other fish don't other fish go up there to spawn and stuff too and how are you keep I mean how are you not blocking those from using the same yep manager Wagman actually these physical barriers we don't have too many of these around the watershed they are really intended to block most species that are moving up the channel. okay so they will block northern pike, for example, um, those that, that migrate up that channel anyway. Uh, DNR, we've talked with DNR fisheries, they're not concerned about that. Oh. And so, now the, the screens are removable. In some cases, we've tried removing them and putting them back in to try and time it with fish migrations. Uh, DNR has said in recent years, don't worry about that. You could just leave them in all the time. But we do have that option to remove them if necessary. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my uh, comment was along the same lines, just looking for Matt to reaffirm the, the public about game fish and how these interact with that. Yeah. So, thank you, Matt. Marcy? So <laughs> I have three items here. One is, did you say that the carp are in Lake Johanna now? They go actually to the lake and spawn um, there? No, Manager Wine, uh, we refer to it as Johanna Creek. Oh, Johanna Creek. Because it, Creek. it comes okay. out of Johanna Creek, uh, and it, but uh, there are several locations in between Long Lake and Lake Johanna that prevent, uh, or, or that are barriers to upstream migration. The most consequential is, is the Lake Johanna outlet itself, which is okay. a pretty deep drop structure. Mm -hmm. um, so the concern here is not that carp would make their way into Lake Johanna, but they'd make their way into the E2 wetland, oh. which is a very large winter kill wetland complex in between Lake Johanna and Long Lake that would serve as a carp nursery. Okay. And will you pull up the picture again of where this is located? Uh, I think that's your... Like right here. Yeah. So, um, managers, there is a weekly farmer's market to the right. That would be to the east of the barrier. This would be a perfect location to get some... Uh, public present information about what the Rice Creek watershed does. So we hope that that does not, uh, I mean that that's also part of it is, is to be able to uh, market the work of the watershed. And po possibly after our motion today, Matt, if you could give an update on the whole carp removal work that's being you know, proposed through the um, statewide group and the Clean Water Council, I'd appreciate that. I was going to do it in my updates, but as long as you're standing there and we're talking about CARP, this might be a great time. So, if there aren't any questions, I'd... Uh, oh. Are there other questions? No. Okay. Ahead. I would move to authorize the administrator on the advice of council to enter into agreement with Peterson Companies for the construction of the Johanna Creek Fish Barrier for the amount not to exceed $38,050, the administrator is authorized to approve contract amendments not to exceed 20% of the contract price, $7,610. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I forgot that earlier, part of the, part of the routine. Mm -hmm. Hearing none, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Hearing none, passes 4-0. And I see you had a request of yes. Mr. Koshin. So as you all know, Rice Creek is leading the pack on carp removal. And it is a statewide concern. Through the Clean Water Council and other organizations, the um, uh, effort is underway to have a conference and a work group 
on, on that. I will be representing the Clean Water Council at that meeting, and also Matt has been um, asked to join that effort also. So, Matt, if you could just do a quick update of what they're specifically talking about, and it does reference some legislative changes. Sure, Manager Wynett, I, I can't say I'm as familiar with the legislative changes there and more familiar, I guess, with the, um, the workings underneath that. Mm -hmm. uh, but this, this effort is led by um, Meg Durr from the Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center, along with others, uh, including uh, Shemek Bajer, who we work with in Carp Solutions, myself, uh, other watershed districts. Uh, the idea here is that um, management of carp has accelerated across the state uh, in recent years, uh, spurned by uh, some really good research that's come out of the University of Minnesota about the life cycle and biology of carp. And I think people are recognizing now more than ever that uh, for many lakes, water quality goals just won't be met unless these carp are managed. Um, and yet, there, there are some barriers, pun intended, to successful <laughs> management uh, in some areas, uh, be they policy or funding or um, that tricky balance between translating the, the finished research into effective management in different areas. Uh, and so Meg Durr uh, from MACERC is organizing these workshops um, aimed at a couple of different types of audiences. Uh, I think one is more um, state agency folks and how to work through funding issues for projects like this, how to assemble uh, good CARP good long-term carp management plans following the integrated pest management strategy. Uh, it's my understanding that the other workshop is, is more related to the Clean Water Council and policy and perhaps mm -hmm. legislative changes that would make management of carp work better overall. And it's a question that we ask ourselves too, what do you do with the carp uh, once you get the them out of the, mm -hmm. out of the stream? And uh, there's also something about, are they a rough fish? Or are they an invasive species? And that um, would decide which way you can dispose of them and how many you can take, et cetera. So it gets, uh, it gets involved in um, the rules that govern disposal of carp and or, and or even the uh, taking of carp. So we might get that figured out yet. So thanks, Matt. Thank you. So I believe the uh, next items <clears throat> Ashley will be uh, presenting, I guess. Mm -hmm. That is correct. First item is a memorandum of agreement for public drainage system work with Roseville. Yep. So, Board of Managers, uh, these are the agreements that have been updated from what you saw on Monday. I will just make a note for in the Roseville one, we did update the county as well as the time frame, so it will run the same length as the proposed Mounds View one. Um, and then uh, city staff actually caught that the address block needed to be updated as well for their address. Um, and then signatures blocks were updated. Otherwise, no substantive changes um, based on discussion. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like you guys had entered, like to enter in the idea of executing the agreement. So, so Ashley, would you be kind enough for the purpose, yeah. uh, for the, our audience to explain what these are? I'd like some background. That would be uh, great. Yes, yeah, so these uh, memorandum of agreements are between the Rice Creek Watershed District and, in this instance, the city of Roseville. Um, the city of Roseville has an interest in seeing maintenance done on Ramsey County Ditch 4, which is within their city boundaries. Uh, as drainage authority, we are responsible for maintenance and inspection of the system. Um, however, whenever we can get another interested party um, on board, it's always good to see that. Um, and so Roseville actually has extra capacity to do some of the maintenance. And then um, as drainage authority, we will review and inspect and then reimburse them for that cost. Um, so we're essentially working with the city here as a contractor to get additional work done on the system. Okay. Um, any, any questions with regard to this particular agreement? If not, can we have a motion? So we're doing this for Roseville? We're doing this we're for Roseville. Just Roseville Apparently. first. And I will note that um, you know, <clears throat> staff are continuing to work with city staff um, to review work plans. And we'll continue to do so throughout the memorandum of agreement if you execute it. 
Uh, well, I move approval of the memorandum of agreement with the city of Roseville and the Rice Creek Watershed District to uh, regarding inspection and maintenance of the public draining system within the city. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. It's to authorize signature of the document. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that addition. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, it passes. Ashley, would you care to discuss the next item? Yep, the next up we have um, almost <coughs> an identical <coughs> memorandum of agreement, but with the city of Moundsview. Um, same materials as Monday. Uh, again, made the updates as requested. Um, this is for inspection and maintenance of uh, particularly Anoka Ramsey Judicial Ditch 1, which is throughout the cities of Moundsview. Um, and the city owns a significant portion of property along the system as well. So they, again, have an interest in seeing maintenance and inspection done, especially as it runs through the park property. So they have some own, their own priorities they'd like to see on how the park property develops. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're happy to partner with them and get some additional maintenance done. Mr. Vice Chair, I move approval of the memorandum agreement between the City of Moundsview and the Rice Creek Watershed District for the regarding the inspection of maintenance of the public drainage system within Moundsview and authorize the district administrator uh, to enter into the contract. Is there a second? Or the agreement. Yep. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Ashley, thank you. Excellent. Thank you for getting this put together. Getting this put together in time for yep. us today. Uh, Mr. Administrator, where are we now? We are now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <clears throat> Manager Bradley, next would be uh, new agenda item five, which is the district financial manual and associated uh, bylaws amendment. The board had a good discussion of this item uh, at its Monday's workshop. I'm sorry, we are on page 60 of the packet of materials. Uh, handed out to you today is the result uh, of the workshop discussion, uh, there is a red line and a clean version of the accounting funds management and investment manual. Uh, in a nutshell, these edits uh, that were discussed at the workshop is in regards to the delegation of authority, uh, keeping some in investment <coughs> authority uh, to the administrator to deal with the day to day depository and 4M accounts. Uh, however, uh, brings the treasurer uh, fully into the role for full investment authority. Uh, within the packet handed out, let's see if I can quickly locate it. It looks like the predominance of changes are on page nine mm -hmm. of that document. I'll note that these were shared with the uh, treasurer and, and First Vice President uh, Bradley for any initial comment. So these were these changes were based on what we did at the workshop and they were prepared by uh, Chuck Holtman from Lewis Smith's shop. And I'll ask first uh, anyone who's reviewed. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance to look at this, John? I read the, uh, thank you, Mr. President, I, um, I reviewed the red lines on here and uh, basically what we were talking about. Uh, there's two workshops involved when we were talking about this, so okay. I'm easily confused to make sure that I'm on the one for the December workshop and not the January workshop, which is a different mm -hmm. issue. And so, but in the uh, January workshop, I referred back to this about the issue about the treasurer, and I see most of the uh, Redlining in here, it puts the treasurer back in charge, and uh, that's uh, as the chief uh, financial officer here. Uh, the only uh, question I had, and I guess it's just, and you know, I'll, I'll defer to your ability to use a comma, oh. uh, a period, <laughs> and language here. My and strength. Was, yes, on, on the red line copy on page 11, in, in uh, the first, uh, 
word administrator is is uh, removed, generally uh, the word treasurer has been you know substituted in there. And in this case, it just says Rice Creek Watershed District may invest funds for a maximum of seven years. That that correct, or do we need to have that treasurer name in there? I'm uh, just asking that that because it was inconsistent with most of the other changes. <clears throat> so as I, I would, as I would as I would read this, is this is talking about. <clears throat> What Rice Creek does anyway, I think it's probably better off without any name. Is what okay. Rice Creek I, does. I just wanted to check yep. uh, check that because, like I said, generally the most of the changes were we interjected the word manager, and so uh, um, I mean uh, treasurer, not manager. You yeah. take the word manager. So it's important that uh, the, uh, in my view, that the uh, managers are managing the district, and uh, that's. Uh, so, I Thank think you. that's. Any I don't have any other comments. Okay, uh, Mr. Treasurer, do you have any comments? No, I do not. Other than I reviewed it and worked on it with the um, accounting firm and with the administrator Nick, and am comfortable with everything in it. Okay. At this point, can we have uh, a motion? I would get. I would Please. do that. Um, I would move to approve the final version of resolution number 2023-01, um, revising accounting funds management and investment manual and amending bylaws to permit checks to be signed before board approves disbursement with the following resolution, uh, that the board of managers hereby adopts the revised manual, renamed the Accounting Funds Management and Investment Manual as presented in the January 9th, 2023 meeting packet and appended hereto, uh, further resolving that the board hereby amends the district bylaws, Article 5, subsection 4E to read as follows. Uh, the treasurer, the treasurer shall have the care and custody of the funds and securities and shall disperse the funds of Rice Creek Watershed as may be ordered from time to time by the board. The treasurer shall keep or cause to be kept full and accurate accounts of receipts and disbursements in books belonging to Rice Creek Watershed District and shall deposit all monies, securities, and other valuable effects of the Rice Creek Watershed in the name and to the credit of the Rice Creek Watershed in such depositories as may be designated from time to time by the board except to the extent that some other person or persons may be specifically authorized by the board to do so, the treasurer shall make, execute, and endorse all checks and other commercial paper on behalf of a Rice Creek Watershed District when requested by the board and shall perform such other duties as may be prescribed by the board. Checks may be executed before board approval, but the treasurer shall oversee procedures to prevent premature disbursement. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? Mr. Manager Bradley, Board of Managers, I'll just note for the first, therefore, uh, be resolved that it intends the, the corrected version yeah. of materials that were handed out. It makes reference to the meeting packet. Just want to make clear it's been updated with new materials. Great. Yes, let's pass the one we want. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, all in favor say aye. So just a sure. Oh, it's a... So the, it's a now that you've called my attention to it, I, uh, it's, it it's, this is... Um, Presented in the January 9th manual, I thought we were talking about more what went on in the December. So these red lines were in the December meeting mostly, weren't they? they weren't, we're, not, we're not including the additional items that were well, talked about in the January meeting in this. When I made the motion, I did say the final version. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to, you know, what I'm saying. I, I don't know if that's good enough, but. Yeah. What I'm getting at is that uh, there's another issue that was in the January 9th meeting and that I understand was going to come up in a month from now and, and so that's not included the, by, in the, by, the bylaws bylaws right. yeah issues, the, right? correct. Correct. the bylaws that's not included in this issue here that's correct right that's uh, motion second I'm okay I understand now very good all in favor 
I, I, you know, if they show it as a roll call. Oh, a roll call. Yes. Thank you for that. What page are you on there? I'm on uh, 75. 75. Okay. Well, uh, Manager Waller. Yes. Manager Wynant. Yes. <clears throat> Manager Wagaman. Yes. Manager Bradley. Yes. It passes for nothing. Thank you for that. No. <clears throat> Keep me straight, guys. All right, so I believe that the next item is the contract amendment with the career or payment of amendment for career enhancement options, Inc. Uh, Nick, I guess you're up. Yes, uh, <coughs> Manager Bradley, uh, Board of Managers, we are re referring to uh, the new item six, which is Rice Creek uh, in the career enhancement options agreement that we have in place. Uh, staff would like to uh, amend that agreement uh, with an aggregate amount not to exceed $70,000 and a time frame uh, remains uh, <clears throat> viable. So we're okay there because it was initially a two-year term. So it, it brings in the 2023 budgeted funds uh, for human resources work. Uh, Tom's like, as I understand it, the... 70,000 is from last year's total and this year's total. It's not a new $70,000. It's a new 45,000? Correct. The 70,000 is an aggregate amount. Of the two years. Of the two years, okay. correct. Any other questions? I'm just glad I'm not in business anymore. <clears throat> Holy smokes. All in, uh, can I have a motion? So, um, Mr. Vice Chair, I move authorizing the administrator to amend the Career Enhancement Option Inc. agreement for additional aggregate spending authority not to exceed 70000 And can we have a second? Second. Now before we vote on it, can we take just a half a second here and tell the public who's listening who Career Enhancement Options <laughs> is and what we are approving? Uh, yes, uh, Manager Bradley, Career Enhancement Options is the district's uh, current and with this uh, proposal uh, it, to advance work with them on human resource matters, uh, including staff retention, organizational development, uh, salary administration, most importantly and currently we're working on our human uh, resource manual, uh, which hasn't seen uh, an updating in, in a fair amount of time. And um, I might note that the, the size of an organization such as ourselves doesn't have the ability to hire someone with the talents and experience and knowledge necessary to do all functions, such as complex human resource issues, and thus a necessity for us to go out and hire consultants for that work. Manager Bradley, I would agree. Yes, a good deal of our uh, human resource work and our benefits is through our uh, through career enhancement options and also our brokers, et cetera, for our uh, uh, benefits that we offer the employees. At this point, so, is there any discussion on the motion? Mr. President, uh, Mr. B First Vice President, sir, um, I'll be voting no on this this morning. I think that this has gotten to be uh, a, a really large mission creep. And uh, what we had in mind, I thought could have been done. And I think it's really gotten to the point where it's, um, as the lady said when she came in, she was here to help the administrator manage the managers. And I definitely believe that's what's happened here. And so I'm, um, I'm not uh, satisfied with with the uh, um, progress that's been done. Uh, there were limited things that were to be done and we're beyond that. And that's what this extension of dollars into $45,000 is, shows you that we're beyond the original area. So I, I, I don't support continuing this. Manager Wynne? Um, just to be clear, it was an original $70,000 two-year contract. Forty-five thousand in the first year, forty-five in the second. Nope. Uh, forty-five thousand dollars is the addition for twenty twenty-three. Mm -hmm. uh, Seventy thousand is the total for the entirety of the Correct. agreement. The initial contract was for twenty-five. Right. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I, I guess I would. 
I and I partly agree with Manager Waller that I, I just it's expensive, but I think we have to do it. Um, it's gone up dramatically from from my time. We hired people like this, and boy, these numbers are astronomical compared to what I remember. But that's the times, and I don't know. You can't. That's that's mm -hmm. the way it is, and I think we need to do it. Yeah. So, from my vantage point, uh, we hired a person to get in and take a look to see what the problem was and the problems needed to be solved, and she found things that we hadn't identified previously, the, the complete rewrite of the, of the manual employee handbook, uh, other functions, and we've had some very complex personnel issues to address, and so I will be voting in favor of this. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye, I'm opposed. So it passes 3-1. All right. Manager Bradley. Yes, please. Board of Managers, next item is action item seven, which is U.S. site work partial payment request number three for Nope County Ditch 5362, mm -hmm. uh, the main trunk repair project. Uh, Ashley is present, so she can tell you a little bit more about where we're at uh, as you consider the payment. Good morning. Yes, page 87, we have the memo and proposed motion. This is the third partial payment for U.S. Site Works for their work on the ICD 5362 in Circle Pine. To date, they've done um, some. They've started tree work on one of their staging areas, as well as grading the access ramp down from the staging area down into the ditch. Um, they've also installed uh, file logs for erosion control. Mm -hmm. uh, so fence was not feasible at this time because of the weather. <coughs> um, partial payment number three is twenty-seven thousand. 47 and 45 cents um, in accordance with the watershed management plan and resolution 2021-19 it is proposed to be split 60 40 with 60 going to the water management district and 40 percent being paid ad valorem hmm. with that uh, as i mentioned the proposed motion is on page 87 chris you got yeah mr chair i'll just uh, note one more thing is that uh um, I believe the contractor was intending to have more work done by this time um, per the original schedule. Um, certainly the weather patterns, the amount of snow we've had has delayed um, their progress out there. But they're still continuing to move forward. We're in regular contact with them. It's just going to take a little more time. Yeah, if they aren't careful about you cutting the trees off, it's five feet up. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> If, uh, any other questions? If not, can we have a motion? Uh, Mr. President, I move to approve U.S. Site Work Inc.'s pay request number three as submitted and certified by the certified by the district engineer and direct staff to issue a payment in the amount of twenty-seven thousand forty-seven dollars and forty-five cents. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Oh, go ahead. Um, I how has the conversation with landowners gone? Very well, actually. Um, there's been, there was some concern. Um, it was kind of odd timing to have fall leaves. You lose all your foliage, and then they start cutting trees all at the same time. So it was a little bit of a, a whopping impact for you know that first little chunk of time. Um, but where we're placing soil is replacing where some of those taller trees were. So mm -hmm. um, for the most part, we've had very little concerns. Um, and landowners have been very responsive. We are sending out updates uh, monthly when appropriate in the Circle Pine City newsletter, um, as well as um, offering landowners to subscribe to an email list um, and then getting updates as the project goes along as well. Excellent, thank you. Great. Any further discussion, questions? Hearing now, if there are none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, passes four nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Okay. Uh, Administrator Tomczak, we we're on the uh, City of Roseville request for reimbursement number five. Yes. Uh, Manager Bradley, Board of Managers, uh, new item eight on the agenda from our amendments here. Uh, City of Roseville, this is Ramsey County Ditch mm -hmm. Four 
We had a basic uh, water management project uh, there. Uh, this included the uh, conversion of open ditch to a to a storm sewer pipe, uh, and that project has been completed. We received the rest of the water management district collections for the year. Those are owed to the city of Roseville uh, based on our agreement. Uh, materials are paid, found on page 93 along with two motions um, for your consideration. Are there any questions? Mr. President, I would move the RCD4 Water Management District reimbursement to the City of Roseville and direct staff to issue a payment in the amount of $48,645.77. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Move. Hearing none. Mr. Thompson? Yes, Manager Bradley, uh, as a notation ahead of motion, uh, potential motion number two, uh, here it's for any other funds that would come in. Those are estimated to be less than uh, $10,000 uh, delinquent tax collection, this sort of thing, but we'd like to move those when they come in and, and finish up our commitment to the city of Roseville. That's the purpose and the intent of the second motion. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Not, do I have a motion? Mr. President, I move to authorize the district administrator to approve payments of Ramsey County's final 2022 Rice Creek, uh, let's see, RCD4, Watershed Management District funds to the City of Roseville pursuant to the project agreement between the City and the Rice Creek Watershed District upon receipt of dis dis disbursement. disbursement from Ramsey County. A second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, passes for nothing. Um, Mr. President, I'd just like to make a comment about this project. Please. Uh, so three years ago in January, I attended my, as an official Rice Creek Board of Managers, the first public Letter. hearing or city hearing on a cold day at the Roseville City Hall, where this project was discussed. It was a big project with, uh, you know, not only construction, but also the water management district, the work with the Rose city of Roseville, how we exchange funds. So I am very pleased to see um, this completed. And again, as I've said previously, if anybody is driven on County Road C, you will see what the city was able to accomplish with uh, housing development because of this project. Uh, secondly, what we did here with the motion is exactly as I believe what we have followed with the uh, accounting fund management and investment manual uh, of being able to move funds with our approval um, from one fund to, a, you know, from the county dumping money into our pot and then us moving it to the city. So this is a a picture, you know, a real-time picture of how the water, how Rice Creek Watershed Management manages not only the moving of the dirt, but also the moving of the funds. So I'm very pleased with the work of uh, Kyle, Nick, and any other, and Houston, and all of those that have worked so well with and in cooperation with the city of Roseville. And the drainage so, inspectors thanks. that worked on this too. Yes, oh, uh, the whole yes. Yeah. staff, yeah. all the staff, everybody. right? Yeah. I would I just, want to leave you two out. Yeah. <laughs> I, just one thing I would say is you are right. I drove down there just a couple days ago and it is unrecognizable. Yes. I mean, it's unbelievable how it has changed from what it was. But, well, you know, uh, it wouldn't take much for us to have an experience that's going on on the uh, western shore of the nation, and so we'll need that <laughs> capacity. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We, we had our own version in 2011, so yes. Yes, it doesn't take much. It can happen again. 30 minutes, and oops. Yeah. Yep. Mr. Administrator, are we ready to move on to the next item? Yes. Manager Bradley, Board of Managers, 
Uh, next on the agenda is a new action item nine, which is a Ramsey County letter of support request, or I should say that the numbering is adjusted. Uh, this is the letter to Ramsey County seeking support for state bonding. I see that Kendra is online with us. Uh, the letter has been adjusted as noted at the workshop and has been presented before you for final consideration. Was that a handout today? It was. I thought we were talking at this. Oh, this is City Roseville. Yes, yes, okay. I'm sorry. I was, I had jumped down to 10 mm -hmm. by accident. Yes, all right. This is the letter I thought was still a thank you. So excellent. Uh, it arises because during a meeting with the three Ramsey County commissioners who have Rice Creek within their uh, areas that they serve and re represent, uh, we were explaining to them our long-term goals and, and establish in our water management plan to improve the flooding in the areas of Ramsey County ditches two, three, and five. A number of projects that total would total approximately $22 million to accomplish. We've done some of the projects. We've done Hanson Park. We've done various grants. Uh, we're looking to the legislature to provide us with additional funding. And we asked Ramsey County commissioners if they would lend the support of Ramsey County to those efforts. They said, yes, please send us a letter which would identify this request so that we can include it in our own legislative goals and packages. And this letter that we have before us is a result of those activities. Yes. Mr. Well. President, I, I, I uh, uh, forgive me for, for uh, uh, making this correction, but I believe that the $20 million is a four or five year old estimate. And so yeah. I think uh, we are, when we ask the Ramsey County folks for our, our help and our legislators that we not be bashful we have our recent experience with what contractors can do that we uh, may have need uh, considerably more than just uh, the cost to be much, much higher. And I, that's all. But uh, the letter is excellent. And this is the process to begin. And, and it, it is very important to have uh, your uh, county commissioners write a letter to the legislators, the, uh, the leadership at the legislation chair looks at for those kinds of supports and it has an important um, uh, impl uh, 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 impact on whether you're going to be in the bonding bill or not. And so a lot of, we've already laid the pre, uh, uh, preamble uh, work uh, to be done here when we had the DNR uh, a couple of years ago put us on the list. So we worked our way up there. So we're in, we're in good shape here. Let's hope we can get, uh, and since the legislature has a lot of money this year, mm -hmm. well, let's hope they bless us. Yes, yes indeed. Manager Wynett, um, let me ask you a question. When we met, we met with three specific commissioners. Uh, should we name those three in this letter? As name them county, the three. Uh, At the top? Or do you think they'll they'll figure out who to get it to? Well, you, you, you want to go to the entire board, sir. I, I and, think so. I just and, want to make sure uh, that, the, uh, that they know that the board knows. You might. S Do we want to specifically copy them at the wow. bottom? There's no room. <laughs> There's, there is no room. <clears throat> well, will this be, will we email this to them? May, perhaps you and I should the, uh, the, follow up with our three that's a good commissioners idea. That's to say that's right. that's the best is. idea. Send a copy to those three. Right. Well, yeah, 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 and uh, the three of you contact with them there. Right, know, so it, so make, this gets sent directly to the board. You and I follow up with an email to the three commissioners. It should be sent to the administrator down there who would distribute it to the board. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, so do we yeah. need a motion? Yeah, so that's for you to check on too, yeah. that the administrator. There's a motion to pass. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be in their correspondence issue, yeah. you know, the receive correspondence. Yes, Manager Bradley, Board of Managers, that's consistent with our intent. The letter would go to the board. We would send it physically, U.S. mail, uh, but also send it to the administrator uh, at the county offices uh, to get it to the board, get it on the record, and proceed as, as 
under their protocols. Uh, your follow-up with the individual mm -hmm. commissioners sounds like a great idea, yeah. so they, they know to look for it, and we'll all be on the same page. That'd be great. Marcy, if I could count yep. on you to do that. I will do that. All right. Uh, so we were gonna all, uh, we've had a discussion. Uh, if we have a motion yet? No, I don't no, think I don't so. Think if so. we have a motion to approve the, mm -hmm. sending this letter, please. Uh, so move. All right. Second. So I'll, and we have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Uh, four zero. Thank you. Manager Bradley, uh, for, for purposes of your communication with commissioners, once the letter is signed, we'll we'll get a electronic version to Marcy uh, so great. that she can utilize that in her communications. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now we've reached the education assistance with yes. uh, Kendra Summerfield issue. Correct. Manager Bradley, this would be our new item 10. Uh, with the renumbering educational assistance, uh, Kendra Summerfield and her request. Um, I'll note uh, that you received a new page 96 uh, for your packet. Uh, apologies for that printing deal there. Uh, it, I should refer to it as a software issue. It's the compatibility of the software with the, the printer and how those things t uh, speak to each other. In, in any uh, case, you were given those new pages, uh, but your employee handbook includes the opportunity for educational assistance. Here, uh, Kendra has uh, asked to execute that. I've reviewed the materials. I think they're consistent with the interests of the district and the, its needs and communication. Um, it's a reimbursement program. Uh, so uh, effective uh, upon her receiving a uh, C or better grade, as is noted in the manual, and submitting uh, proper documentation, we would look to reimburse her. And there are funds within the district budget for mm -hmm. uh, staff training and development. Kendra, I see you're on the online here. Would you care to spend a couple of seconds or minutes to however much time you want, explaining to us what your goals are and how this fits into those goals. Sure, so I have been um, enrolled as a graduate student at Colorado State University. So it's an online program, of course. I don't live in Colorado, but um, so it's a graduate program. It is um, like a master's in natural resource stewardship um, and I'm focusing on, well, I was originally focusing on restoration and land management, but now I've sort of transitioned more into a communications tract and how that incorporates into natural resources and my job and how to get the public involved in land management and natural resources. So there's sort of a program inside my program. It's a communications for natural resource, like minor, I think they probably label it as that. But so my goal, um, I think I've completed about 15 credits so far. I currently have a 4.0, um, so that's nice. really great. Um, so yeah, my goal is to finish that out within the next couple of years. I am only part-time because I also work and have other things going on, but so it's a slow process, but it's been going good so far. So um, saw the opportunity to, um, you know, mesh it into what I do in real life for work and school. So. Are there any other questions? No, uh, Mr. President, but uh, thank you for using the program. I uh, remember putting this in. Um, I'm a large supporter of it. I'd like to see more of the staff uh, continue their education, improve their professional qualities here. It's very important. Um, I might not agree with what they learned down there, but <laughs> I, I, uh, I want to see that done. So uh, I'm happy to hear that this is happening. Uh, one of our, uh, I used to uh, harass one of our uh, former employees and about going to graduate school. And he finally went to a, at least a, uh, uh, a small version of it. 
over at Hamlin where they have public administration. Of course, now he took that education and left, but nevertheless, we've improved the system. So I hope that uh, the administrator encourages all the employees, any kind of that, to, to continue this. Thank you for revising and updating it, whatever it is. We need it. So about 45 years ago, I used to represent uh, the state in it, looking into private colleges. So I first thing I want to do is make sure this was legitimate. And it is very much, it's, you know, state college in Colorado. And uh, I looked up the program online and everything looks really good to me. Uh, it was more curiosity than, than real. So, but thank you for that. And so if I could have a motion, please. Uh, Mr. President, I'll move that the uh, Rice Creek Watershed District Employee Handbook adopted in uh, May 12th of 1999 have this revised and approved uh, section here for educational assistance. Is that yeah, but the... There's, there's uh, some additions. Some additions, eh? <laughs> oh, boy. It, uh, I'll just note that the, the current language is in the human resource manual and so Kendra's looking to execute it uh, so your motion would be for her it's input. for her specifically yeah. correct yes. oh I understand uh, yeah. well in that case I, I move to uh, to uh, uh, approve the uh, reimbursement of the con conservation crisis communication course at the Colorado State University when Miss Summerfeld uh, demonstrates successful completion of the course with a C grade or better. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Say aye. 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 No opposed? No opposed. Kendra, again, we appreciate this. Uh, I, 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 for one, have been very pleased with what I've seen, and I like the idea that you're trying to improve still. I agree. Thank you, Board of Managers. Okay, so I guess we're at the check register. Ah, and there was a handout everybody got because the one page was, was mixed this, up. This, this, this yeah, yeah. yeah nice, huh? <laughs> uh, but we did get a handout, and uh, Madam or Mr. President, I would move to approve the check register dated January 11th, 2023, in the amount of $72,934.45. For second place. Second. Any discussion? Manager Bradley, I'll just note that the uh, corrected version was placed on the website for the interested parties in the public. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, what passes 4-0. Uh, District Engineer, District Engineer Chris, do you have any updates or anything you want to say? Uh, Manager Bradley and Board of Managers, um, I don't have anything specific to note, but certainly can address any questions you might have. Are there any questions of Chris? Hearing none. Uh, I don't believe we approve this. It's just provided for informational purposes. So, Administrator Update. Nick? Yes, uh, Manager Bradley. Uh, Teresa shared with you this morning regarding uh, your obligations as, mm -hmm. as managers. Uh, I would just share not much has <coughs> changed uh, since uh, our Monday workshop. It's notable that um, MOD, Bowser's Public Drainage Group, uh, the DNR's interest in legislation or not this year, et cetera, are all things we're staying apprised of. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, it's likely we will have some uh, general thoughts to share with you as regards to uh, legislative approaches or, or district positions that you might take to the MOD legislative event. Excuse me, Minnesota Watersheds uh, action. I have nothing else. Any questions of the administrator? Mm -mm. Okay, Andrew Waller, update. Washington County did not have a conservation or consortium meeting this month. They've uh, adopted a policy, of which I believe is uh, they're going to have holidays on the first, at least this year. It's January. Will be no meeting. There'll be no meeting. I think in is it April and July and 
October maybe or so, or something anyway. So somewhere high every four three four months. So. Right. Andrew Wynan. So we are getting um, many emails from Mod Minnesota yeah. Watershed. I'm trying to make sure I think we like they like us. Yes. Yeah, sure. So there's there are two which are the Ag Urban Partnership Forum. Um, on March 1st in Saint, at St. Joseph at St. Benedict's. And then I'm looking right now, it seemed like there was a, um, a drainage management meeting also. Uh, Up at Alexandria for the county commissioners. For the county commissioners. Now is that something, are we engaged in that? And does I'm the drainage going. staff? Oh, you're going, okay. But anybody can, I mean, right, any, right. any of us can President. go. I, I signed up. Okay. Yeah. Chair Bradley, yeah. uh, Manager Wynant, Board of Managers. Uh, so this is the AMC, as I understand it, Association of Minnesota Counties is putting on this along with uh, Rinky Noonan. Uh, no, not Rinky Noonan. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Rinky Noonan just made yeah, it, the, the event is being hosted by Association of Minnesota Counties it's also being sponsored by H2 Overviewers, which is a group of viewers that works around the state on drainage projects. Um, there are going to be three different groups that will be speaking there. Um, John Kolb from Rinky Noonan, this gentleman Brian Murphy from H2 Overviewers, and then I'll be speaking there as well. And so it's going over a two-day period. It's up at the Arrowwood and, uh, um, again, being sponsored by AMC, but uh, it's, the invitations have been sent to um, folks um, related drainage all throughout the state, including MOD representatives. Including Could, MOD representatives. Mm -hmm. So our issue that we discussed on Monday about the... The drainage, uh, uh, drainage list, workers. electronic list, yeah. Yes, yeah. and then there was another issue. That is, I'm just trying to kind of figure out who's on first, who's on second. I don't think that that is necessarily on the agenda, although I'm sure that that will be discussed uh, at length during the um, um, breaks uh, and potentially they have a, uh, a forum of uh, county commissioners to um, close out the session. That, uh, that I would um, imagine that there might be some discussion there on that. But uh, um, there will be a drainage work group meeting um, uh, tomorrow. I will be in attendance of that. Uh, and. Uh, um, that uh, those two topics are one of the, uh, the two of the primary topics to be discussed there, and how the drainage work group will be looking to address that in the in the future. Drainage work group will not be meeting um, until again after this meeting on um, Thursday until um, after legislative session is over in June. So um, they usually take a break during the, the legislative session, knowing that it it isn't. There's other people that have other things to do during that time period. Um, but the um, intent, as I understand it now, um, from all parties involved is to try to get that, those discussions pushed forward um, in earnest once uh, they um, um, resume again in June. Um, in the interim, they uh, are going to be uh, trying to assign some subcommittees, uh, one of them regarding the adequacy of outlet, and I'm going to be part of that subcommittee. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, talk about uh, uh, um, potential changes uh, to how or, or clarification on how engineers uh, evaluate the adequacy of the outlet. Um, but uh, I would uh, anticipate that there's going to be an interest in moving those other two topics you mentioned to a subcommittee level as well to try to gain momentum uh, until the, uh, the group meets in earnest again. So you're our hook to the drainage water work group. Yeah, I, I'm not we, going we to these in an official capacity as the your district engineer, but um, certainly I'm going there with your interest in the top of my mind. So, Manager Bradley, as our conversation with the Ramsey County Commissioners, the current chair of the Association of Minnesota Counties is Commissioner Mary Jo McGuire, who's a Ramsey County Commissioner. And she had commented about um, more and more urban commissioners are being attentive to, to drainage issues and 103B, C, D, E, F, and all of, all of those things. So 
um, I think over the next couple months we will be hearing a lot about what's what's proposed or what's uh, potential changes or concerns in drainage issues. So yes, we have had our heads up. So. Chair Bradley. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll just note in response to board of managers that staff do attend the drainage work group as well. I've attended, Ashley's attended, uh, I believe Tom has to been some, to some previously. Uh, maybe more of a Bowser staff level engagement item, uh, bringing professionals in that are knowledgeable about it to discuss and, and develop a path forward for policy, et cetera, and, and we'll certainly bring you those things. So then, it, so then, Mr. Chair, I would request that at a workshop sooner or later, we have just an overview of that work group and particularly how it would impact or how it's impacting Bryce Creek. Get a sense of who the players are, <laughs> what the goal is. Yep. Um, happy to do that. Uh, if you'd like, uh, just <clears throat> likely, I would say it's it's a Bowser-led group uh, to address drainage issues, which are, as you know, very complex. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of parties uh, working to take care of the obligations that they have under statute. And as we've worked for the last 10 years, there's many uh, other new or existing uh, use the right word here, uh, statutes that don't make fulfilling those obligations easy. And so we work hard to work through the Wetland Conservation Act, DNR public waters, adequacy of an outlet, and how this impacts uh, and staff bring forward things that the board will have to consider when it makes decisions about the public drainage system. Mr. President, uh, so uh, in my uh, adventures in life, there have been times when I've attended the drainage work group as a representative or substitute representative for a different organization other than Rice Creek. And it's been around for quite a while. I would guess maybe uh, 15, 16 years or more, or something like that. Uh, it's a, a diverse organization of mostly uh, non-government organizations, from what I've seen of it. And um, the idea was supposed to be able to work some of these uh, thorny issues, shall we say, of differences of opinions out before they got into the court system or some other uh, processes which are lengthy and, and not necessarily broad enough for discussions at the time. Um, so I, it's, uh, I, I, I don't know if it's, uh, what success there is or isn't, but there's, uh, it's just a to tool. As far as the county commissioners mm -hmm. up at Alexandria, um, I read that uh, um, agenda. Uh, it looked like two days of listening to John Cobe. <laughs> it's true, there are some other speakers, but they're very limited. Uh, um, Ricky Noonan used to run, and I have attended that in the past, uh, up at St. Cloud, an annual uh, drainage forum in which many of the county commissioners from uh, the uh, non-metro counties would attend. I've been to that a couple of years, too, which you listen to John Cobb all day. Uh, but uh, that's, uh, it, uh, that's not uncommon, and... Uh, so I, I, when I saw that, Chris, that's what I thought that was, was the Ricky Noonan conference, but it's uh, technically not, I realize that, but it, it, it's something that's been going on also for a number of years, long, long time. Major Wackerman, any updates? I have nothing. So obviously I'm new to this chair and um, I will announce that at our next meeting, we will uh, appoint two new uh, managers. We will appoint the replacement for Pat Priner's seat in Anoka County, who is Jess Robertson. 
and she her term takes effect the 18th, but we will swear her in on the what is it, 25th. Mm -hmm. And Marcy Wynett, you've been reappointed by Ramsey County, so we'll swear you in. We will, after those people have taken their uh, oaths, we will begin with an election of officers. Uh, it is my un intent to seek presidency at that time. Uh, I've asked Manager Waller if he would be your first vice president. So far, he's indicated not an interest in that. We'll check on that again then. Marcy Winant has agreed to become our treasurer, working closely with Steve Wagaman to train her how to do that job as well as he has done it for eight years, nine years, long time. Twelve. Twelve years, a long time. <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah, believe it. Uh, I, I look forward regardless uh, to, you know, you're assisting me in trying to be the best I can at this. I think Pat Preiner did a wonderful job of allowing and increasing discussion and allowing each and every one of us to present our opinions and views. I hope to be able to do that as well as she did. I doubt I'll be that successful, but I will attempt. And with that, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Move, Move to, to adjourn. adjourn. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Well, we got through all that paperwork yep. without a... Yeah, I was just going to... Thanks, Lewis. Um.